All right, so I am recording this in lieu of today's advice video because I was trying to record today's advice video, but my phone kept blooping because of a conversation that was going on on Facebook. And oh my God, wait, where do I even begin? I'm just, I'm like so annoyed right now. I'm like shaking because look, ex fatties, ex fatties, I'm looking at you. And, Seriously, I am looking at you and I can and hold it before I get into calling you guys judgmental assholes. I'm gonna uh, Where do I have? All right, there there's the anger comes from somewhere and I totally understand where it comes from. I get it. It comes from You know, you, you work extremely hard to go from point A to point B wherever that is and and you hear a lot like, oh my God, you're so lucky. I wish I could do what you're doing. And you know, after a while it gets really grating because you're like, wait, actually I'm pretty sure I'm doing something you're totally capable of yourself, but I've just been working my ass off. I got that off my chest, I got it. I get where your anger comes from, but let's drop that for one second. I gave, I, you know, so there is that, however. We need to consider that it's no, there's no reason to treat fat people like shit. There's no reason to treat anybody like sh shit regardless of what they decide to put in their body. You know, I'm, I'm really frustrated because, okay, so starting from the beginning, Megan Tonjes made a fuck your feelings video on her channel um, just talking about how there's a double standard about how why is it like cool or cute or whatever if a skinny girl eats junk food but if, but if a fat person eats junk food it's like oh it's like it's the end of society as we know it you're killing America you know you, you guys are you know so she actually has an extremely excellent point you can't deny that double standard that definitely exists so or like it even exists okay like i've been losing a lot of weight you know i post a picture on instagram of pizza and it's like cool because i've been losing weight but like if a fat a fatter person posts pizza it's like what are you doing to yourself you're killing yourself I don't know. So anyway, so she made a video about it and then BuzzFeed made an article about it. And Megan Tan just posted on Facebook. She was like the comments section. Oh my God, because the comments are ridiculous. The comments are, they honestly, they made me cry. They really did. And I don't know. So anyway, so I posted that on my Facebook and I just said, you know, whatever, whatever someone decides to eat, it's no justification for you being an asshole. There's still a person that deserves to be treated with a re with respect because they're people. And, and how dare you say those things to another person with feelings? Or, well, I didn't say all that, but, it, but I just, I just posted it on my Facebook just saying it, whatever someone decides to do, like it's no justification to be a bully you know we, we gotta like go back in our brain so what it was like when we were kids and we've had we've been bullied it fucking hurts and it's senseless and it's needless and, and why even do it it's not productive you know oh my god the blooping won't stop the blooping won't stop because apparently after you unfriend someone they can still message you Facebook can you fix that please anyway so this guy this guy he's a minion and we were friends on Facebook because we both had in common you know we had both lost quite a bit of weight eating paleo and and he was saying he he was basically saying oh when you have an audience of young kids you you have a duty to tell them to to tell them to do the right thing I get Look, I'm not, look, asshole. All Megan Tondas was ever saying is that irregardless of where you are 
in your health, in your mental health, in your physical health journey, that you need to love your that you need to love yourself. You need to love yourself. That's all she's saying. You don't it doesn't matter. And then he was and then he's saying like all these judgy things like, oh, she should this or that. No, hey, how about this? How about you make a YouTube channel telling people how to eat? You know how that that's that's not her job. That's not her job. If you feel like there's a lack of that on the internet, then you then you go ahead take up that role. Because all Megan Tonjes has been saying has been trying to say is that wherever you are in your health journey, you should love yourself. And I feel like she's doing an excellent job of that. And how dare you come off like judging fatties just because I don't know. Get off me. All you ex fatties out there that are Judge Judgertons, get off your freaking high horse. Okay? Remember, just bring yourself back. How did you like being talked to like that? Yeah, sucked, didn't it? So, hey, how about you don't keep doing it? You're not no better. You're not a better person. You're just. I don't know. Just don't judge people because of what they eat like what the hell is your problem i don't even know what else to say other than that i'm just kind of like and i've been frustrated with the ex-fatties for like a while because i've gotten to know quite a bit of them and uh you know and i get like i said it can be it can it can be frustrating uh because you there are some frustrating things about being an ex-fatty, like when I mentioned in the beginning of the video, but it doesn't mean that you treat them like shit. Like, remember what it was like before you lost weight. Remember what it was like. Like, before you lost weight, could you have even imagined yourself the weight you are now? What, doesn't it's, like, okay, ex-fatties, bring yourself back to your highest weight, and now the weight you are now, now, bring, now you're, at your highest weight right now, wouldn't you feel like the person at your current weight is kind of lucky? I mean, it's just, it's just hard to imagine yourself as you are at that weight, bringing yourself to that point. And you have to do it because you got to treat people with respect because nobody bullied you into doing the work that you did to be where you are now. You, you didn't get to where you are by beating yourself up and calling yourself like a fat cow. You know, you did it by being loving and gentle with yourself and realizing the things you needed to do. And I don't know, I don't know. Just, oh my God, ex fatties, just please stop with the judging. It's dumb and it's not productive and you need it. It's dumb and it's not productive. That's the whole point. It's not productive. It's not getting your point across. Whatever your point is. I don't know. That's... I actually feel a lot better now that I've recorded this. I feel a lot better. And, um... Alright, I'm gonna upload this now. And there'll be an advice video tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.